Hey, Tom, what's up? Eh, just working. What can I help you with? Well, how much charge do you think I'm going to need to take down a 10-story apartment building, about, about 200 units? Well, about 32 cases of 12,000 TPA full-stick dynamite or 200 large-diameter ring-fired nitroglycerin cartridges or 16 pounds of non-cap-sensitive water gel or one of these. Huh, an ebonite. I didn't think they made a very powerful ball. They do now. This is the new Matrix. All the control and predictability Ebonite's known for, with the power to drop anything in your path. Huh. I'll take it. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. Let me wrap it for you. We don't want this going off on the way home. Huh. Good idea. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jason Kelch, professional tour bowler and member of the Ebonite Pro Staff. What you just seen is obviously an exaggeration, but it makes a very true point. This new Matrix is the most explosive, most exciting, most powerful ball Ebonite has ever made. And it's going to bring a whole new dimension to your game. Why? Because there's much more to this ball than just power. Control and predictability are also essential to your game, and Ebonite has long been known as the leader in that regard. What they've been able to do with this new design is combine the best of both worlds, power and control. That's an incredible combination, and one that is extremely difficult for a manufacturer to put together in one package. But you know what? Talk is cheap. I was a little skeptical myself at first until I rolled this ball, and I guarantee you, it flat knocked me out. It has become my ball of choice. And if you'll share just the next five minutes with me, I'd like to show you exactly how this ball was designed and built. How it works, and most importantly, how people exactly like you are already using it to improve your game. Let me introduce Brian Purcell, Ebonite's technical coordinator. Brian, tell us how you were able to make a ball with both power and control. Basically, Jason, boils down to one principle, friction. I know it sounds simple, but it's anything but simple when you put it into production. We've spent thousands of hours and thousands of dollars researching and designing a high-tech cover stock that would give us more explosiveness without giving up that all-important control. And what it came down to was not one, but two different versions of the Matrix ball. The Matrix Reactive and the Matrix TPS. The cover stock for the TPS expends energy quicker, which gives you stronger hook potential in the oil. We achieve that through adding textured particles that gives you a lot of what we call traction versus straight out friction. This gives you a very powerful but predictable angle to the head pin. The cover stock of the Matrix Trimax Reactive is a smoother texture which allows the ball to conserve energy further down the lane for bowlers who prefer that. But either way, the TPS and the Trimax Reactive create a lot of energy when they hit the pins, giving you explosive power. Right, but the trick is to maintain all the predictability and control with all that power. Exactly. That's what sets the Matrix apart. The new cover stocks are only part of the equation. Here's how we designed the core of the ball to work so well with each cover stock. Here's a cutaway of the core design. As you can see, the core features the bomb, a strong revving asymmetric design. The bomb enhances the predictability of the breakpoint by controlling the transition from skid to hook. And that's how you're able to offer both power and control. Right. I have to tell you, in my eight years with Ebonite, I've never been more excited about the introduction of a high performance ball. Well, this ball works great. Great job. Thanks. A ball can be designed any way you want it on the drawing board. But if it doesn't work in reality, you've got nothing more than an expensive paperweight. And you don't have to be a professional to know the difference. The true test of any great ball is how much it improves the scores of bowlers such as yourself. That's the test. So how did the new Matrix grade out in real games with average bowlers? The first thing I noticed about the Matrix is how hard it hit. When it hits the pins, you can really hear it explode in the pocket. A very good hitting ball. It hits as hard as anything that's on the market today. It hits like a ton of bricks. It really it, it crunches them pretty good. The hitting power of the Matrix is amazing. I got in a little bit deeper than what I did with a lot of other equipment and it doesn't stop on the back ends, it still drives to the pins and it keeps the pins fairly low and it throws them everywhere. The ball got through the fronts real clean, real straight through the front end of the lane, saving energy to, to, for the back end. Break point in the ball was very con controllable, but yet it was very strong. It had a, lot, a very strong arc into the pins. Four different lane conditions, 
I could move in a couple boards and still have the most readable break point to the pocket that I've had with any ball I've owned. The hitting power of the ball was fantastic and I really liked the heavy roll that the ball had. It doesn't seem to stop when it goes through the pins and it, it continues to roll hard through the, through the pin deck. It's got good hit and it's got good mix. The pins don't seem to jump up too much. They kind of they stay low. They don't go back too fast. Uh, it mixes them up well. Ball definitely hit the pins with a 40, kept them close and tight into the pocket. The shots that I was flush and super flush, uh, everything was kind of in the middle of the lane and back. Not a lot of jump. Ball reacted well. Good combination of, of all the current technology rolled into to one ball. The perception of a lot of Ebonite balls was that they didn't, they didn't hit that hard or, or come that hard off the back end, but I think this has changed a lot of that perception. It's an excellent ball, it really is. This ball is probably the best ball that I've ever thrown as far as readable, predictable reaction on the lane combined with the strength and the power that you get on the back end. I've never had a ball quite like this. I would give the Matrix an A+. That was great. It was absolutely awesome. The hitting power of that ball is awesome. Something that's, that's, that's strong and controllable at the same time. I think I'll buy a Matrix. I'll probably have one of these balls in my bag. Just gonna have one of these in my bag. I would like to own one today if I could get out the building with it. This ball is awesome. Very impressive. And I can guarantee those are entirely unrehearsed and unprompted. And to prove it, I've asked another bowler to join me here today to put on a short demonstration. This is Doug Kent, pro bowler and fellow Ebonite staff member. And I guess, Doug, we wanted to put on a little left to right demonstration for him today. What do you think of the ball? Well, I'll tell you, Jay, the, the Matrix is the best ball I've ever thrown. It's the most versatile ball, and when I'm playing straight up the lane, this ball always has great hitting power. And when I move deeper inside, like I like to play in most tournaments, it always gets back with a lot of hitting power. It's the most versatile ball I've ever thrown. I agree, Doug, completely. And I think we should put on a short demonstration to show them how to use it. Let's go. That was a lot of fun, but before we wrap this up, I would like to stress one additional benefit to the new Matrix. No matter how good the ball is, it still has to be drilled properly to make it roll properly for your game. And that can create its own nightmare. Ebonite has condensed the number of recommended drilling patterns to four basic designs. Layout number one, for the power bowler, the person with lots of revolutions or those with slower ball speed. Layout number two for the tweener, the man or woman with medium speeds, 14 to 16 miles per hour and seven to 12 revolutions. Layout number three for the low RPM bowl, fast or slow ball speed with very few revolutions. And layout number four is for the full roller. This not only gives you maximum performance, it simplifies your life and assures that the pattern you pick can be easily drilled. Beyond that, there's nothing left to say. You have to experience this ball to believe it. So do yourself a favor, arm yourself with a new Matrix by Ebonite. It's got all of the control and predictability that Ebonite is known for. With an amazing amount of power, so much power in fact, you might not need a bowling bag to carry your new ball. You might need a permit. 